I've made this decision to forego my senior season and an NBA draft. When Jarnell Stokes revealed his plans to enter the NBA draft, he also revealed some struggles he faced as a Vol. Earlier at another press conference, Stokes said, quote, It's hard to walk in the mall and they're selling your jersey for $100 and that's enough to pay your phone bill that you can't even pay. Following the news of Northwestern football players seeking to unionize and star college basketball players going to bed hungry, the debate of whether or not these student athletes should be compensated is heating up. Tony Robinson played for the Vols from 1982 to 1985. He says that considering how much money is made off college athletes, it's only fair that those athletes are compensated for their part. If it wasn't for those guys, you know, a lot of these, all these schools will be making that money. You know, so I think it should get a little cut, man. Radio show host Tony Basilio has been talking Tennessee for 20 years now. He says compensating student athletes who help make money for their schools is inevitable. Sooner or later, the levy's going to break. Everybody's getting rich in the process, but the kids. Dr. Robin Hardin, an associate professor in sports management, says there's no cut and dry solution. Not every Division I school makes money off of their athletics programs, and of those that do, typically only men's football and basketball are making revenue. It's much more complicated than simply paying college athletes. Um, I understand the point behind providing a stipend. I get that, but there's more to it than simply starting to write a check to everybody for $2,000 a semester. For schools like UT that turn a profit on their football program, millions of dollars are in turn spent on coaching salaries and improved facilities. Is the money there to pay student athletes or provide student athletes to stop and probably, but it would take some refocusing and readjusting of some other priorities. Today, head coach Butch Jones makes more than 15 times what Johnny Majors earned 25 years ago with an annual salary of roughly $2.9 million, according to GoVolsExtra.com. Things have changed a lot since Tony Robinson played quarterback. Now, Basilio believes that with talks of unionization and pay for play, more changes are on the horizon. One day you're going to turn your television on, Ohio State, Michigan, Tennessee, Alabama, and the players aren't going to come out of the tunnel. And if the players don't come out of the tunnel, I ask you, Tony, what are they going to do if the players don't come out of the tunnel? There's going to be no game. For UT Today, I'm Joe Kaczynski.